Well, I think right behind me here, we kind of come up on this little plateau above where I parked the truck. I have a nice view up here and it looks like some fairly level ground. So let's get started in setting up the old camp. Well, I'm, I'm thinking uh, I'm going to lay right here. Uh, the wind is coming pretty much straight at me and I think I want to run this way. Uh, <coughs> not always a good idea to go broadside to the wind you turn your shelter into a sail so I'd rather cut the wind a little bit so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go that way with it Ouch. this is some rocky some rocky ground right here and uh, so it's a good place to use the, uh, the beast I got some supplies along with my Osni cloak, tent tubes. Notice I put some rocks up here on this end of the uh, beast because the wind can get so gusty it'll just pick everything up and blow it away. So I thought, well, we'll, we'll help hold it down while I get it set up. And uh, once I get it set up and anchored down, we'll be good to go. I brought a tarp accessory kit with me. I'm gonna throw that into there for good measure. Now what I've got right here is actually a new product. Um, we've got PSS, Poncho Survival Shelters. This is a HSS. It stands for Hammock Survival Shelter. So this is the very same thing as our ponchos without a hood in it. So you can use it as a hammock, a tarp. You can use it uh, any way you can use a poncho except as a poncho. I resisted doing this for a long time, but there are some practical applications for it. This is a PSS XL size, and it's made out of the honeycomb ripstop fabric extra wide so that's what I'm going to use for my canopy but even just blocking the wind out on the desert there's no trees so any wind or even a little breeze becomes a big thing because there's not a thing anywhere to block it and it just comes racing through this HSS has snaps in it just like our ponchos the snap pattern matches the same thing as the ponchos and uh, so you can do this with a poncho like you saw me do before. Uh, last week I did the uh, uh, overlanding peacock style and, uh, I used a, and I used a poncho instead of the HSS. So I just want to show you this today. So down along the bottom of the beast right here, all along are snaps that are set in here in the same configuration as our poncho snap setup. Now our snap pattern it starts in the middle of the beast and uh, has three sets of snaps on both sides of the beast, this side and that side, spreading out this way lengthwise. So what this does is it allows us to integrate our, our canopy cover, integrate directly into the beast. If you watched the video last week, uh, overlanding peacock style, um, you saw me use the canopy with the tent poles actually actually fastened into the canopy itself and not attached to the uh, to the beast. So I'm going to show you another way you can do it with the beast. With our we have a strap accessory pack which has a a receiver pocket it's a receiver pocket for tent tubing so you could use your own tent tubing or you could get the sets that we will have available for you uh, as an accessory to the beast and so you, you could even use willows or whatever if you want anything that would fit 
anything that fit down in there you could use as a as a means to hold your canopy up okay so this is the very same tent pole set that I used last week with that poncho canopy over the beast uh, down on another part of the desert about 15 miles from here so what we do we're gonna this gets put up in a cross crossing shape so we're going diagonal from corner from one corner to an opposite corner what you gotta do is come down here shove that end in there shove that end in there and I know I'm going to be crossing somewhere right about in here that's about the middle I'm going to run it down but not tight when you're first setting this up you might want to put your foot down just because uh, everything's kind of That wasn't exactly how I planned to do that. See if I could aim it into the pocket from here, that'd be like docking with the space station. All right, so now I shove that in that pocket. Okay, port for my canopy is formed. Here's a piece of rock right here. I think might make a good post for us. We'll try it out. I got a couple pieces to try. All right, I'm going to take one of my tent stakes. And I'm going to put the elastic through it. Cause I want to have a little bit of shock cording here, and then I'll just kind of pull it out here somewhere about in here. I'm out here doing a little rock hounding in the area, so it's pretty rocky ground. There we go, so I'll use my rock hammer. So here's the beast shelter right here. Using uh, you could use a poncho or use a or use this HSS, this hammock shelter, uh, survival shelter. Put it over top of the beast with the tent poles. And now I've got myself a nice shelter out of the out of the elements, out of the wind, the rain, all that sort of thing. One thing I forgot to mention in my haste to get this thing up was I was going to show you snapping the uh, Osni cloak in there. So like an Osni cloak, a fleece, an underquilt, they all have double-sided snaps. The beast has double-sided snaps on both sides. So that allows me to, uh, I've got the canopy snapped on but I can use the other side of the double-sided snaps on the beast to snap my uh, Osni cloak on there and then I can lay the Osni over me just like a blanket. That works really nice because then your blanket doesn't come off of you or anything like that. I don't need anything underneath me when I'm sleeping on the beast because I got three inches of insulation. I don't need any insulation underneath me and it's nice and comfortable so I so I just lay right on the beast without anything else and all I got to do is throw a blanket over top of me and I am good to go you see these tabs right here are double sided on the beast anyway so all you do is come in here and snap down now when you look at it I still have another I still have another snap position right here available where I can snap my canopy cover so that way my blanket basically is integrated to my sleeping pad so here's my next one right here and here's my last one right here 
So now my blanket or osni here, my osni has become my blanket. Underneath me is the beast. The beast is all the insulation, everything I need underneath me. So I don't need a blanket underneath me. All I need is something over top of me. And this works beautifully for that. All right, so yeah, that's all there is to it. And I'm pretty well shielded inside of here from the wind, from rain or whatever. And this laying on the beast right here, even though this ground is pretty rocky, I don't feel a thing of it. It's really comfortable. Not even dark yet. I'm ready to go to sleep right now. Now one of the nice things about the beast is I can lay on my side, I can lay on my back, I can lay on my stomach. And I never sleep on my stomach, but I actually have slept on my stomach in here. And it is comfortable. 